Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I have here a very compact random number generator, very fast as well. Uh, it's 4 bit random number generator, so it gives a 4 bit binary number. Um, each button press will light up some of the lamps and none of the others. Um, so there's 16 different numbers you can get. And all you have to do is hook this up to a decoder and uh, get a lot and lots and lots of different outputs very fast. Which is what I did during a live stream. So what you see here is, it's a bit messy I must say, but um, the nice thing about this decoder is there is absolutely no delay between each different output. Meaning they are all hooked up to the exact same wire, um, so no delay, delay between them. Uh, unlike some of the other decoders that are out there. Um, so if I activate this clock, what you will basically get is a binary number every one and a half seconds, or binary output, I must say. So this thing is very, very fast, um, very cool. Um, built this during the live stream. I'll add a link to the Twitch if you want to see it. Um, it's as far as Minecraft goes, completely unpredictable. It uses dispensers. Um, and yeah, I'll get a more in depth. I'll be a bit, be a bit more in depth on how it works. What you see here is if I turn off the clock and we go here. This is uh, like the basic concept I took from uh, CodeCrafted. I just made it a lot more uh, compact. But basically, what you have is you have a dispenser with a full water bucket and with an empty water bucket set the time for a moment and I have a block update powered piston so diagonally powered piston now whenever um, the dispenser empties the full bucket there's already water here it will still empty the bucket but it will not cause a block update that will extend the piston if this redstone here is powered um, the other thing that can happen is it will actually suck up the water with the empty bucket that will however uh, cause a block update. So it's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to update or not update. Um, so either when I activate it I'm going to have two empty buckets or I'm going to have two full buckets. Um, but this dispenser is already powered right now which means that whatever redstone update you give it it's going to fire. And seeing, if a, seeing as a button activates and deactivates uh, the dispenser actually activates twice. So it can either go uh, empty empty and then empty full uh, which brings me back to my begin situation or it can go full full which means that it gave a block update and then uh, empty one of the full buckets again which again brings me back to my um, standard situation um, so this thing uh, how many times I press it will always end up having one empty bucket and one full bucket meaning that every time you press it the chance of it happening like uh, for an individual light to go on uh, four dispensers, four lights, is always the same. So there's no variance uh, or yeah predictability in that in that way. So very nice. Um, yeah, pretty compact as well, fast. Um, and I'll show you how to build it right now. You can actually do it quite fast because it's not so big. Um, what you will need is dispensers. That's for sure. So dispenser there, dispenser there. Uh, I like using glass when I use water or lava or that sort of stuff, so you can see where it is. Um, like that. Now we're going to need pistons, sticky pistons. I already had those in my inventory. Facing down, and we're going to get sort of a dice five shape, cross, whatever you want to call it. And the the pistons on the outside are there to uh, transmit power to the different outputs. Basically what happens is redstone activates and send a signal into one of the, the redstone lamps. And the middle one is actually there to allow power to travel to the different outputs and to actually also reset the extended pistons, the block updated pistons, uh, so you can do another yeah, roll, I, you could probably call it. Um, so that being said, let's mirror this on the other side. So five blocks like that, and then dispenser here and here. Now it's important that you pl 
place a lever here and activate it and a lever here as well and also activate it this is to uh, allow the dispensers to di dispense twice whenever a button gets activated or it gets deactivated then next up we make sort of a H shape at the top and we get a block there one block above the piston uh, I mean above the dispenser and a block here then we get one tick delay repeaters and redstone dust then in to place redstone dust on top of the dispenser you click on the block next to the dispenser you can actually place redstone dust on dispensers also works with furnaces like that um, and with that done what I actually missed and what is very important is we need to make this an infinite water source so you get a bucket and you place a bucket on all the glass you see so four glass in total that will make it an infinite uh, water source and say um, water gets removed here it will actually fill itself up again so I have an infinite water source here now um, the next up we go down here we go a couple of blocks below three blocks below we get a torch there block here block here this is both to uh, send power to the different outputs but at the same time it's also a way for me to uh, reset the extended extended pistons uh, we're gonna get two tick delays here then uh, the other one has to go a bit further has to come from a bit further I mean you can customize this however you want I, uh, I did it like this then we get a one tick delay repeater here, one tick delay repeater there, and some redstone dust. So now that the, the signal from this one is just going to travel like so. And here on the other side, again, we get a signal from this redstone dust that will activate as soon as this piston goes down. And the, the way that this piston can go down is I basically um, have redstone up here, which will activate the fence gate which will update and cause this one to extend and the moment that uh, it gets unpowered it's actually going to retract again seeing as uh, the, the fence gate will um, close again once it stops getting redstone power so that's just a way to um, yeah power your pistons a bit further away and then like so and now the last thing we have to do is get a lot of buckets and in each one we are either going to give a full bucket I mean we're going to have to place a full bucket and an empty bucket so uh, full empty full empty and one more like that now if you want to change the odds for whatever reason all you have to do is derp around with the but buckets a bit but um, yeah uh, this is probably the most random as you can get then this device works with I think the smallest delay or the smallest pulse you can send in here and where it works is like six ticks if I'm not mistaken so it works perfectly fine with uh, with a button and just hook it up however you want and each time you'll get some sort of random output I mean it doesn't there's also a chance that none of them activate there's 16 different combinations of these four lights activating which allows for yeah 16 outputs which you see here so I will add the download link for uh, yeah for this thing if you want to use it for I don't know your redstone computer or mini game or whatever you want and uh, yeah this thing as well if you want to check it for reference anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you find good uses for this random number generator um, if you're new to my channel be sure to check out my other videos and uh, yeah subscribe for more anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you all later bye bye